Cookie, I can't believe you did that. I can't believe you ran across the key, the key, the keyboard. That has not happened in like forever. Also, uh, give me a minute, cause I can't even see chat at the moment. After she did that. She even completely turned the Wi-Fi off on my computer. Hold on. I gotta get back. I gotta get Twitch back open again. If I can get it open. My computer's like struggling to get it open right now. I see welcome to the chat room. Okay, we're back. I can see chat again. Cookie, you can't go upstairs. <laughs> yeah, I saw that, Durbin. I can't believe that's actually even a thing. And I'm, I'm sorry that things are like that. I don't understand why it's got to be like that. Yeah, I got a girlfriend now. Let's see. We'll, we'll have been together nine months on the 17th. It's been really nice. I'm, I'm not much for gushing. Like, you'll... You'll hear me talk about her more than I may talk about others. But that's it, like... She, she knows how I am. And I have gushed about her with people before. But it's not like something I can just... It's not something that just do when I ask. It'll just happen when it happens. But I think she's amazing and wonderful. And I still can't believe that she actually had feelings for me at all, of all people. But, heck, we're not going to do that. We're not going to go into that. We're going to... We're going to continue with the story things. The soul of each force swept into the cloud as it moved. It drifted toward the Ark of Yamato at the bottom of Laoshi Lake. The Ark of Yamato was beckoning all of the world's darkness within. Tussle's, world, uh, Tussle's words echoed ominously, awakening Amatrasu's heart. I'm really happy about this too. I never thought this would happen. No! All the sacrifices, all the life lost in the name of good. Was it all in vain? She ran we, and Tracy's a hundred year old incantation was fatiguing and exhausted by the intense battle. However, when she ran we noticed the glow of Oki's sword, Kutone. A sly smile seemed to crease the wolf's tired lips. Satisfied with the bright glimmer of hope, she ran we struggled to rise and put every last ounce of strength into passing through. Ishaku's gate back in time, back home. As Amitraisu and his son looked on, they were fully aware that Shiranui headed back into the face of danger, to the battle with Orochi, after saving Nagi from the clutches of death, and aiding them in their own quest, Shiranui would die a hero. Marking the beginning of the legend of Orochi, as Ishaku left the scene, his eyes betrayed the sort of toughness one exhibits when preparing for a grave event. I honestly, going back to 
Oh, you have a girlfriend now? I never thought I would ever have one. And it's like the best feeling ever, just spending time with her and everything. And I think she's probably napping right now. She doesn't hear anything that I'm saying about her. Which is good. <laughs> she doesn't need to hear me say that I love her like a million times. Even though I do say that like a million times. Would you like to save the game? Of course. 11 p.m.? Jeez. Don't worry. That's perfectly fine because I think... The next part is the very end of the game. And if it is, if we're going to the Ark of the Covenant, the Ark of the, yeah, Yamato, Ark of Yamato, not Covenant. And we'll call it and do collectibles next week. Amitre soon the others returned to the foot of Ezefuji. There they saw Lika praying intently. The storm had subsided. Then, as if to celebrate their hard-won victory. The twin volcanoes of Ezo Fuji erupted in great pillars of flame. The villagers felt the warmth on their skin and wept tears of joy. Bye! Durbin, thank you again for stopping by. I'm glad I got to talk to you again. And I hope you have a wonderful night and I hope you have a wonderful day tomorrow. Goodbye! However, Oki merely surveyed the scene stoically, remaining silent. Although the evil demons had been driven away, the thought of having taken the sword and caused so much grief weighed heavily on his heart. The only one who could ease the burden of his woes was Semikul. The chieftain who had rescued Kemi from the shrine stepped forward. Silently he approached Oki. Offering an outstretched hand, his eyes betrayed the complexity of the emotions behind the gesture. Oki, realizing the gravity of the scene, extended his hand and turned. The moment they shook hands, Bupkir was reborn into a village far too strong to ever fall victim to evil again. As for Katone, the sword that vanquished the twin demons, it was returned to its pedestal by Oki's own hands. And as long as the glow remained, no evil dared draw close. Gatone's gleam spoke of a power too great to succumb to evil. At that moment, a brilliant flash of light shot forth from Gatone, striking squarely on the frozen surface of Laoshi Lake. Though the lake had never shown any sign of melting, cracks began to open up along the surface. The legend of the Iron Ark, Yamato, said to have fallen from heaven, and the Holy Laoji Lake, which it called home, was revealed to be more than a mere legend before all those present. like a tiny boat, jeez. That's where the end of the game is though. It's a rainbow. Let's actually say right here. We've played for nearly 40 hours. Actually, I was going to listen to them. But let's not do that. Let's save that for the final stream. After we get done with the collecting and we go onto the boat to finish this. Thank you all for stopping by. Thank you all for lurking and chatting. I'm sorry for the technical issue. I guess technical issue. I actually probably shouldn't even call it that. 
but thank you all for stopping by, lurking, and chatting. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I can't wait to see you all again very soon. Tomorrow, we should be continuing Wind Waker as long as things don't happen. And I actually stream tomorrow, which I should. But, hope y'all have a wonderful day and a wonderful night. And I can't wait to see y'all again very soon. Goodbye.